Today we're going to make a nice easy bracket. Now this is the tool path that we get right here for the plasma cutter to take. And I get this from the flat pattern of the actual part, the bent part. So basically I get the drawing from the customer, then I sort of redraw it in Fusion 360 with uh, like the 3D model with the bends and everything. And then I lay it all out in a flat pattern. And that's how I create the tool path. I will show that later after the cool stuff's over. All right, now let's see how this thing did. So these are supposed to be nine millimeter holes right here. Three, five, four. Point three five four. Let's see what we got here. Kind of tight. Some places. Some places it looks halfway decent. Not too bad overall. You'll still get an eight millimeter bolt through there either way. So that's not. That's that's the main thing. And overall this way, one point seven nine five. That is supposed to be one point seven seven two. Luckily, I know where this is going, so I know that's not a big deal. But either way, we still have to figure that out. We're still Twenty thousandths over. That's uh, that's getting a little bit too much for me. And this way is supposed to be 1.6, and we're almost right on there. About four thousandths over. All right, there's the other one. Now they compare very well. Not too bad there. Not too bad there. Still the same. On these sides. Now this is this is pretty good here. It's supposed to be 1.6. We're about maybe five thousandths over. That's that's okay. That's that's about as good as you're gonna get. Look at that. Finally got some die chem so I can lay out all my crap. I haven't seen this stuff since I was in college. All I know is you don't need a whole lot because it gets kind of everywhere. It's almost like anti-seize. All right, so I know the bend line needs to be 1.53. So I have this set to 1.53, and then I'm going to scribe the line. Maybe. Let's sort of see it there. Now I know you're not really supposed to use calipers for scribing lines like this because it can screw it up, but those are relatively cheap calipers for the most part, so this is okay. I believe they will get the job done. I'm still, the sheet metal bending thing is still a work in progress, but it's, it's coming along. So now that the cool part is over, I want to show you a little bit of how, how I did this in the background. The CAD and the CAM and all that good stuff in the programming. Here is the 3D model of this thing, and it's not too overly complicated here. There's just one bend and a couple of holes as you can see. So once we get all that made up in the sheet metal feature of Fusion 360, then we can go up here to create flat pattern. And that will basically make almost kind of like a new component in Fusion 360. And you can either turn it on or off. So there it is, the flat pattern. And then I can shut it back off. Exit flat. So once we get everything bent, it'll lay it back out with this flat pattern. So I select the flat pattern and it shows the bend line here and then from there that's how I can find out where I need to bend it 1.53 and that's exactly what I said so I put the middle of the V in the press brake and just put it right there to bend it and then we move over to the cam feature of Fusion 360 and create the profile that the plasma cutter will take so my plasma cutter kerf width is 60 thousandths I cut it 50 inches a minute and it was around 30 amps I believe I just selected all the chains and that's pretty much it. Then I saved it as the plasma cut file and then cut it out and then bent it right there. Going back to the model here, sheet metal is kind of confusing uh, and I know it was confusing to me at least when I first started this. So I started off with this, what I wanted this to be actually. So this is basically like the base of it 
So there it is after we extrude it. Then we make another bend off of that. And this was a little bit complicated. Uh, we used a two side bend and I basically just calculated how much over I needed to be to make it how I want it. Now this relief shape here, it's kind of confusing. So you can have it tear like I did straight and you can have a little relief here or you can use round and it's both they're both basically reliefs so you can bend this evenly so I didn't want that because I knew I wasn't I don't need it so I just did the straight tear so that worked out well and it it looked alright so that's basically all I did and then I went ahead and cut the two holes in here which isn't which is nothing out of the ordinary so that's how I made the bracket itself so that's basically how I did everything and it was actually fairly simple. This is something like this is probably less than an hour. I've probably been out here working on this less than an hour now. So that's that's not too bad for both of these and to get them bent and everything. At least it's not too bad for me as a novice person just starting out doing this type of stuff. But I'm fairly happy with how they turned out and regardless of the small discrepancies with the dimensions and stuff from the drawing, they turned out pretty even. I mean, they look almost exactly the same. Not too bad there. You can sort of see, maybe. Yeah, they're pretty even. Take my word for it. I mean, they could be better, but they're not too bad, once again. So, I think that's it for now. So, thanks for watching.